Sam, this is this is the one, innit? Sam, Sam, check. Is that the one? Is anyone really watching? Okay, it's God Almighty. Hold on, hold on. You see, every time you want to jump to the next. I answered your questions already. Oh, this. Yeah, this is a blue. So now answer my question. That's that's. It's God important. Yes. No? Yes, yes, yes. Give me mic. What does immortal mean? You cannot die. So you die, I die. We are not immortal. But God Almighty is immortal. Now the key question for you are Trinitarian. Is Jesus immortal? Huh? There's only one Jesus, right? How many Jesus are there? Huh? How many Jesus are there? Even if happens, then how many Jesus are there? I don't have cable. When you say in his flesh he died, is Jesus one person or more than one person? So you, you mentioned apostolic unit. Apostolic union. That wasn't my question. Apostolic union applies to one person or more than one person in the person who have Jesus. Okay. So, do you believe Jesus Christ is the second person of the Trinity? Okay. Is the second person of the Trinity immortal? That is immortal. He's immortal. So, who died on the cross? Is the flesh part of the Trinity? So no one died from the three for you. Of the soul from the body. Right, and when Christ died on the cross, his it, spirit went down into hell to preach to the captives. Which means it's, That's it's separated. Separation. Good. So death but applies to. That's not a human death. That's not immortality. Mortal means has to do with the flesh. No. Who yeah. told you that? Yeah. He had flesh. Did he not? Yeah, he had flesh. I asked you, is the flesh part of the Trinity? You said no. The flesh, right? The flesh not part of the Trinity, right? So once again, the question is: so from, when we're wait, talking wait. about separation, which wait is a minute, wait, separation, wait, when we refer to wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, in the, in the wait a minute. Yeah. From the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The three persons within the Godhead, which one died for you? Which one was separated? Which one died for you? Which one went to hell? You know what that means. You know what that means. Okay. Simple as that. Just so like I asked you, do you die? You said yes. Do you believe God's word is eternal? Are you going to answer my question? Not a question with a question. Remember your principle. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your principle. Your so once again, from the Father. I love you, man. <laughs> I love you too for the sake of humanity. Okay. So once again, for the, from the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the three persons within the Godhead. Which you, one. which you believe they're as identical. a... They're identical with each other. Well, they're not identical. One died, the other didn't die. So they're not identical. They're identical. Did the father die? Well, okay. Think about it this way. So... Uh, Are you going to answer my question, by the way? The, Before you go to move on. But, 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 From the three who died. Terms. We're defining terms. Yeah. So, so who died? One. one of these is the word of God. You believe God's word is eternal. Which one died? That's the question. Forget about another question right now. I'll answer your question. But after you the answer mine. Which hell, one? Which one from the three died? Huh? Which one from the three died? Which one became Somebody separate? died. Somebody which died. One became separate from the Father? Why are you using different terms? The Somebody died the on the cross, God right? Hold on. Father. Someone on the cross died. So the Son of God became separate from the Father because you said separation is Someone death. on the cross died. I answered your question. No, you did not. The Son of that God. means not separation from the Father. That means separation, the separation of the soul separation. from the body. So? Separation of the soul from the you body. You said separation before. That was it. That was no. The that. You can go home and check on the camera. We can. Yes. I, I, I'm very consistent with the definition I gave because not the first time I'm defining this. Loads of people. None of them are mine. Okay. Good. Okay. Right. As long as we got different perspectives. I don't know. Because you can edit this and you can. Like, My friend, is the same camera. I know. I'm going to go home. And they are, they're all recording the same event. I love you. Okay. <laughs> so what? Loves you. Okay. Good. Okay. So now we are done with the love scenario. Can we go back to my question? Can I have a hug? From the first, at the end of the discussion. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I want them on video. Remind me, by the way. Remind me. Okay. From the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. Who died? For your sins. Who became separate from the Father? Who sacrificed for your sins? I'm going to say separate. Who died from your I'm sins? I'm going to say death and not separate. Can we okay. say separate and not death? I'm using death. Sorry. You know why I'm using death? Because the whole purpose of the crucifixion. You were using death because you want to trap me and you want to say more trap you. the flesh. Why do Christians always feel insecure that I'm trying to trap them when no, I ask them logical I'm questions? Is, my name is Brendan. I'm not, I don't represent all Christians. Okay, Brendan is, saying, is thinking that... Brendan, you're not the, the first Trinitarian. You're not the first Trinitarian. 
who mentioned I'm trying to trap you. Sir, sir, let's talk about Trinitarian and, and monotheism and, and Trinitarian theology. Okay? Don't change the topic. Okay. Once again, from the I'm three who died. I'm question, but let's change the topic to that. Why? Because I have a point. I want to talk about that. What? So do I. You, don't, you want to prevent me? Uh, let's talk about so that. do I. My point is very simple. Look, we have already established that God doesn't die. The fact that somebody somebody died on the cross. Okay. Did someone die on the cross? Yes. Which person from the three died? Which person from the uh, yeah. which person from the three became separate? No, died. Jesus flesh died. I told you that already. Oh, so once again, the flesh is not part of the Trinity, so you cannot bring the flesh in. Right. Yes. So from the three, who died? No one. Separate. Yeah. When you say the no, three, I'm using that. I'm using that. No, don't say three. You have. To, okay. When you say so three, you have to say. You three. said the flesh died. Am I right? The flesh died. The yes. flesh is not yes. part of the Trinity. No. So we have established that already. Yes. So the only person, sorry, the only thing that died, is not part of the Trinity. So, so wait, 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 example, wait a minute. For example, when we die, our soul is going to become separate from God. That doesn't mean that's you're immortal. Death. That doesn't that's mean death. you're immortal, am I right? That's that. No, that's not what that is. That doesn't mean separation from the... God will never separate from you. God is always going to know you, where you are, you're what you're saying, doing. Wait, wait. So what do you mean by separation? I don't understand really. For me, separation means you're from completely... Kingdom. From his kingdom, cut off. Why are you? Are you telling me that Jesus was cut off from his kingdom? He went down into hell. He went was where, he cut off he from God? Where the people were was Jesus cut off from God? Was Jesus cut off from God? That's a very deep question. Everything's a deep question. These are your basic principles in your Bible. It, the, whole, the word of God entered hell. That's all that means. You're telling me Jesus went to hell? Yes. He went to hell to preach. Then why did he lie to that thief when he said that today you will be with me in paradise? Today will be because he went back up. He rose. From the no, dead. he did not go. Yes, he did. He Only rose from the dead. No, he, he didn't. Rose, he rose, not on the same day. Isn't Jesus in heaven? Not right on the now. same day. Not Jesus on the same Jesus day. Is in Wait, right right now. one one topic at a time. On the same, he said. Yes no? He said today. Jesus listen, listen. Jesus said today you will be with me in paradise. Okay. Yeah. On that same day when Jesus died, did he go to paradise or hell according to you? He went to hell, but then he went up to paradise. When did he go to paradise? When? After he left hell. After he rose from the dead. Exactly, after three days. Yeah. So it wasn't today. Thank you. you admit it. So it wasn't on the same day he died. Huh? Do you admit? It wasn't on the same day he died. Today means today. Like There's also today like the, the end times is today. Oh, today means, also, today means end times. Yeah, in Hebrew, yeah. That, that. <laughs> where, where did you learn Hebrew? Where did you learn Hebrew? In Hebrew, today means, today study, means the end day. I study truth. I don't think you, are, you know Hebrew. I don't think you study truth. You study what? I, don't know, man. I think you're just boffling now. Because uh, yeah. you're losing enough. You know when you... No, I'm not losing You know what, look, look here. I, Sometimes you just have to say, I don't know. There's nothing wrong in saying, I don't know. I understand. Okay, I, I so we have established that Jesus lied to the thief by saying, today you'll be with me in paradise, when according to you, he was in hellfire. By the way, as a Muslim, we don't believe Jesus went to hell. A Christian believes that. They love Jesus so much that they're willing to send him to hell. Yeah, but they love him so much. By the way, another key question for you. Yeah. Would you no, save, no, would you no, save no, Jesus no, no, no. if you had a chance? Uh, we, we talked about our oh, we already discussed. So uh, from the three, by the way, have we finished the discussion from the three who died? Yeah, we did. So who died? You, you, you wanted a recap of everything we just talked about. Who died? Right? Who died? Yeah, from who the tree. Separate from the God? Again, you're using separate. Who separate why are you reluctant to use the term death? Because I'm, well, you were just explaining. You know why? You know why? Because the crucifixion is because key for your, is key like for your salvation. Our spirit dies. Wait, wait a minute. We separate with the Father Cru if we have a ransom. Crucifixion. We need a fidya. We need a qurbani in order for us to... No, it's not a fidya or a qurbani. You pay fidya or qurbani to Allah. That's paid by Jesus okay? blood. The, the ransom is paid to God, but you cannot, God cannot pay the ransom to himself. That is absurd. Okay? You cannot use the terms in Islam. We use fidya, which is ransom. No, no, no. You still haven't answered my question. From the three who died. Okay, so it's done. Basically, we have discussed and we have concluded, correct me if I'm wrong, that no one from the Trinity died. The Father did not die. The Son did not die according to him, and the Holy Spirit did not die. So in other words, the whole purpose of the crucifixion goes out the window because no point God coming down as a man to die for you when no one died. Yeah. You know what died? The flesh which was not part of the Trinity. You know what you have done? You have, committed, you, have, you have committed the heresy of Nestorianism. You have separated the divine from the human. That's a heresy. No, both, it's, 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 it's both and. Can so you separate them? Flesh and Can you separate them? Can I separate them? Yes. God, Can you separate the hypostatic union? Can I separate the hypostatic union? No, I'm a man. Good. Okay. Not you, <laughs> not you. When you say the flesh died and the spirit did not die, well, God's body is in heaven right now. You know, when you die, Jesus body listen, is listen. Right when you die, does your spirit live on? Jesus rose, bo rose bodily into heaven. Wait, wait. When your spirit dies, sorry, when your uh, when your body dies, does your spirit live on? Yeah. Does that mean you never experienced death? Uh, no. So you never die? 
<laughs> exactly my yeah, point. You're, you're a good word twister. I like that. <laughs> I'm a what? Word twister. You twist no, I'm not. I'm not twisting word. I'm using logic which you're unable to understand. So Unfortunately. Can we talk about trinitarianism and monotheism? You want to move away from the topic because you know you finish cannot it. deal I'm with it. it. You win. Are you? It's all about winning. It's it. for you to understand the truth. The truth is this: when your spirit lives on, doesn't mean you're immortal. Yeah. It doesn't mean you're immortal. Okay. okay? I Oh, you, your brother told you to go away? Oh my God. <laughs> All right, anyway, no problem. At least we have discussed, we have discussed, and we have, we have realized that the Christians do not understand the basics of their faith, okay? These Christians now are saying we don't want to discuss on camera anymore because they realize that every time they try to preach Christianity, they get humiliated by their own Bible, unfortunately. Yes? They keep saying, oh, his flesh died, that means he must have lived on. No. Everyone's flesh dies and the spirit doesn't die. That doesn't mean you're immortal, my friends. That means that is what death is. Death actually means separation of the soul or the spirit from the body. That is what death really means. So when any human, including Jesus Christ, experiences death, that is what happens. His spirit lives on and his body dies. Okay? That means you are not immortal. Just like Jesus was not immortal, if any God dies by their own creation, I don't believe that is a God. Because God, first and foremost, never dies, let alone by his own creation. Unfortunately, that is what our Christian brothers and sisters have to deal with. Death by their own creation. A humiliating death. A death in which Jesus was literally stripped naked. Yes, you know that loin cloth you see on the crosses that you see in the Catholic churches? With the blonde man and with the blue eyes? That is not Jesus' true uh, uh, representation he was literally stripped naked yes obviously they don't want their children to see a man naked on a cross so they have to obviously cover his privates yes alhamdulillah none of our prophets are, pre are uh, basically represented that way we don't have the pictures we don't have the idols we don't have anything we don't want them to be humiliated like the way it happens in other idol worship like the way they worship a man as God a form of idol worship idolatry is what the Trinitarianism is now at the end of the day. I respect my Unitarian Christian brothers and sisters who do not believe Jesus was God Almighty, who do not believe that Jesus was the one whom they worship. So we are at least a bit close to our Unitarian Christian brothers. There are differences, obviously, which we don't agree with, in, uh, the foremost being the crucifixion, for which the only way to salvation. We as Muslims do not believe in any human sacrifice or any animal sacrifice for your salvation yes we'll be celebrating Eid al -Adhab. the man mentioned Qurbani which means basically you will be sacrificing an animal this is not for atonement of sins yes this is something which is the Sunnah of Ibrahim just like Jesus was circumcised he followed the Sunnah yes the uh, tradition of Ibrahim of Abraham because Abraham was the first one who was circumcised and he's the first one who circumcised his son, his first son, Ishmael, not Isaac. And God said, this is a covenant until the end of time. The covenant of circumcision was given to Abraham until the end of time, which was practiced by all the prophets who came after him. Yes, that includes all the Hebrew prophets, including Jesus Christ, including Moses, including Jacob. All of them were circumcised, yes? None of the Christians follow that because they actually follow Paul. What did Paul say? Paul said he done away with the covenant God gave to Abraham until the end of time. Are we in the end of time? Were we in the end of time 2,000 years ago when Paul lived? No, we are not. So Paul said it's a circumcision of the heart, not of the flesh. These are not the words of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ did not utter this. He did not teach this. And in the Bible, he says, anyone who follows my teaching, Jesus Christ says, he is the one who loves me. So now it's up to you, Christian brothers and sisters. Do you love Paul or do you love Jesus Christ? Do you love Jesus Christ who clearly stated that the only true God is his Father? By the way, he called his God the Father. This is a Hebrew term. They use the term Abba. Abba means Father. Yes, obviously not a literal biological Father, but as a term of respect to God Almighty. So what does it tell us? That the Muslims follow one God. Yes, the same God that Jesus also worshipped and prayed to. By the way, what does worship mean? Anyone who abides by the teaching of God is what worship is. So if you follow God's teachings, you're worshiping that God. And you would pray to that God. Have you ever seen anyone praying to someone other than they worship? No, you don't. Jesus clearly prayed to his God. 
And you know how he prayed? He put his forehead, he put his face on the floor. This is called sujood in Arabic. Yes? Every Muslim does sujood. And it wasn't only Jesus Christ. Abraham, David, Moses, all these prophets, the previous prophets, they all prayed like that. They put their forehead, their face on the floor when they wanted something from God Almighty and they prayed to him. Submitting. You know what that shows us? Your head is the most important part in your body. And you actually put that important part of your body to the lowest in humility to God Almighty. And that is what true submission is. When you humble yourself towards the one who is the Almighty, the one who sustains you, the one who answers your prayers, the one who gives you things that you desire, yes, by his own wisdom. So you might pray for something and if in his wisdom is not good for you, you won't get it. So please do not despair if you don't get something because no prayer of yours goes unheard, un unfulfilled. But in, 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 spite, sorry, in, in place of that, God will substitute for what you prayed for, maybe with something better, yes? Or maybe he'll give you the reward in the hereafter, which, you know, once you go in the hereafter, you realize that God has given you so many, so many good deeds. You might even wish that God did not answer those prayers because you, then you'll get the hasanat, the reward for it in the akhirah, yes? So alhamdulillah, the creed of Islam with, with Muslims, we don't have to fumble about the basics of Islam. Yes, our Lord, our God Almighty is one. So when we want to teach our children the oneness of God, we don't have to dwell into this philosophical and mental gymnastics about whether God is one person, three persons, one be uh, three persons in one being. I mean, I ask my Christian friends, isn't a person a being? Are you telling me there are three beings in one being? Is that even making sense? Is that coherent to anyone? I think this is so incoherent. That is the reason you will not find any prophet of God advocating the triune, the th three persons in one Godhead anywhere in the Bible. Because this is not from God Almighty. This is not from the prophets. Even Jesus' own disciples did not advocate this. Yes, Paul did not advocate the triune God. Yes, he might have believed in a Benitarian God, but not a triune God for certain. It took the church 400 years, 350 to 400 years, to come to this conclusion that whether God is three in one, two in one, one, I mean, what is it? It was an evolution from the oneness to the Benitarian to the Trinitarian. So gradually they kept adding God to the Godhead. What does God doesn't change his nature means? Means his nature is consistent. His nature is unchanging. He's immutable. This nature of his doesn't change. So nothing is added to that nature, like a human nature, like the Christians believe in, nor is it taken away, like God's attribute of immortality, which I was discussing with that gentleman earlier. He didn't want to mention who died on the cross for you. Because as soon as he says one of the three died, then it actually contradicts the true nature, the true attribute of God, which is his immortality, which no other man, no other being possesses except himself. So anyone who says that God died, let alone by his own creation, is negating and blaspheming God Almighty. Because God says in the Bible and in the Quran, yes, if you read Ayat al-Qursi, Allah says that he is ever living. He doesn't die. And in the Bible is the same. He alone is immortal in 1 Timothy 6, 16. So you see in both the Quran and in the Bible, it's very clear that the nature of God Almighty is the one in which he never dies. Okay, with that we conclude this discussion and Jazakallah khairan for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.